today was to give quite a generic talk about the, the role of corrosion. So and that's what can happen, for example, that's an intentional table mismatch, and you can see even a delta head, which is a very, very strong ceramic, if you have a table mismatch, you can easily get to fail. And the second reason why we have problems with tables, and that's what I was invited to talk about today, is the evidence we have in the meantime for large diameter metal on metal. Yes. If you put pseudotumor and orthopedics in, you get over 700 hits. So this is a commonly used medical term. So if you just concentrate up here, this macrophage comes along, engulfs those particles. The particles move around inside the macrophage, just keep looking, and boom. Now also, cobalt is actually cleared from the body extremely well. What you see here is the patients with the highest levels of metal ion levels. Who had their, um, we were tested pre-operatively, and then we measured them post-operatively. You've got uh, so many more uh, issues involved, not the least of which is that the original geometry is not titanium. <laughs> How can a soft metal like titanium bear cobalt chromium? Uh, any soft metal can uh, can bear harder ones. It's, right. it's, it's because of uh, a process. It's, it's a little bit comparable to what happens in corrosion. So uh, in many systems, uh, uh, titanium is much more noble than the contacting partner, and it's mostly galvanic corrosion instead right, of wear. Right, so it's a corrosion process. Yeah, but it, it also can, but, but it also can be done mechanically. Okay. Yeah. okay. If you're getting wear particles generated from the tribal layer, they're mostly chromium, co uh, chromium oxide. If you're getting wear particles which are not generated from the tribal layer, they are more representative of the bulk material. Although this is titanium and meant to be very soft, it is an alloy of titanium, but it is actually a lot harder than people realize. We use um, ceramic heads, and my understanding from Ceramtech is that ceramic heads, should, when you revise uh, using these, they should have a protective sleeve under them, and whether it's Dupuis protective titanium sleeve or Bioball, I think it's all the same. Well, I first got involved in this because I inherited this group of patients from my predecessors when I started the RNOH, and there had been actually between 1965 and 1975 25 metal metal proximal film replacements inserted at the ROH uh, and of those there were 11 survivors of which five had their original metal metal prosthesis in situ and six have been revised to a metal on poly. Would there be any point in repeating the experiment? Hopefully it may give another result. It may turn out that he's, I have no idea where he is now, <laughs> was wrong. Well, and just as a cancer surgeon, Chromosomal damage that I see in, in practice is associated with, with cancer.